Hi there, I'm Clayton Seams, and you might remember me from other such films as Why Not to Buy a 1970 Corvette Sight Unseen and How to Destroy Your Starter Motor with Alex Reed. Uh, today we're talking about horsepower. Now in episode 5 we recently did a dyno test of this car, the Corvette, and the Datsun, and a lot of people were confused about wheel horsepower numbers versus engine horsepower numbers and how they all fit together. And there's three figures you really need to know, and that's gross horsepower, net horsepower, and wheel horsepower. And we're going to explain all three right here on this weekly episode of Redis and Cletus. Now the first one is gross horsepower. And that's the number you're always going to see applied to old cars. Actually, 1971 and earlier is going to be a gross reading. Now, what that means is it's measured at the crank of the engine. So not installed on a car at all. It's on it run on an engine stand. And that's measured with race headers, race gas, no air filter, no alternator, no water pump. The reason is all those things kill horsepower. So a gross number, while technically uses a stock engine, is an inflated number that you're never going to be able to get in a real car because you're going to have things like exhaust system, air cleaner, alternator, water pump. All those things are going to make a pretty noticeable drop in horsepower. Uh, usually, once you add those things in, you're going to lose about 15 to 20 percent. Now, it depends on cars because sometimes you have an alternator that draws more power than other cars. In fact, in modern cars, it's probably um, a lower factor, maybe around 12 percent. The next thing you need to know is net horsepower. Now the net horsepower rating system was introduced in 1972. So 1972 and onwards, every car is rated, at least in North America, is um, the net horsepower rating system. Now what that is is the exact same thing. It's measured from the engine, still a stock engine, but this time it's using factory exhaust manifolds, an air cleaner, alternator, water pump, basically all the accessories that the car would have if it was installed in a real car. Now net horsepower ratings are really accurate. That's kind of what an engine will make if you put it in a car. Um, and because of that, they're lower than gross ratings. So that's why you'll notice a car in 1971 might have made 350 horsepower, but in 1972 that same engine is rated at 270. That's the difference between gross and net. This is a 1970 Corvette. It was rated at 350 gross horsepower. So probably, I don't know, 250 net or so, something like that. Uh, it's not an exact science again. Like I said, gross to net is usually about 15 to 20%, but it depends. You can't just calculate it and say it makes this much. Which brings me to wheel horsepower. Now, as you might guess, wheel horsepower is not measured at the crank. It's measured at the wheel. And what you also have to remember is that transmissions, axles, all that stuff causes power loss. You might lose from the front of the engine to the axles about 15 to 20 percent of your horsepower again. That means that you have a considerable amount of drivetrain loss. So when you measure a car at the wheels, you're getting the power that goes to the ground, not the power that the engine makes, because some of the power that the engine makes gets lost along the way. You have friction losses, heat losses, and especially in an automatic transmission, you lose a lot going through the torque converter. Now, that is why we have a car with a 350 horsepower gross rated engine that makes 249 wheel, in my case. It's a 100 horsepower drop. But you have to remember, you lose 15 to 20% for gross to net, because it has an alternator, air cleaner, and a water pump. And then you lose another 15 to 20% off that for drivetrain loss on a manual. Now, on an automatic transmission car, you're going to lose even more. You might lose, I don't know, 30% if you're running it through a torque converter. It all depends on the car. So basically, those are your three horsepower ratings. Gross is engine on a stand, nothing attached. Net is engine on a stand, but dressed as it would be in a normal car. And wheel is what that car is actually making to the ground. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.